Hey guys, Snoop Blacks here, and today we're going to be checking out a really cool Game Shark code that makes Mario Kart 64 scale to 0 0.5. So we're going to go for Grand Prix for this one because I think it's going to work out pretty well. Alright, we'll go Mario. Hey, what, how's it going, dude? Right, let's try uh, this regular cup. Hey, Arsa, how's it going? It's kind of a weird start. Oh, Cheetah, what's up? Luigi's Raceway is pretty cool like this so far. Hey, how's it going, Jonathan? Let me know how the stream's doing, because I'm streaming and recording at the same time, so I'm just wondering if that's going to make a big difference. But yeah, this track's pretty cool so far. This tunnel's a lot uh, shorter in height. Yeah, the trees are now bushes. I wonder if I could jump up here? Oh yeah, I can. I'm going to try doing that again. I want to win this race too though, so I don't want to screw around too much. All the shortcuts are probably so much easier. Oh, negative Luigi's Raceway, that was really cool. <laughs> oh no, that one didn't even load. Yeah, that was like one of the few that didn't load. Negative Luigi's Raceway. Yeah, 0 0.5, uh, it's gonna be a big video. I've been editing it a lot lately. Because I'm gonna make it like Pat and Coic's Half an A-Press video. I've been working on making like diagrams and graphs. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to explain how the code works. So I don't know, in the next four days I'll re release Mario Kart 64 but in 0 0.5 scale of the video. And that one will have like a lot of editing in it, so. This is just the playthrough I'm going to put in the video right now. Oh, that was, that was pretty low. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I remember your comment, Jonathan. Yeah, I'm gonna stop my recording because just streaming should be fine. It'll probably get better now. Yeah, I got the voice down pretty well. Like, I listened to just the way he, like, pronounces and uh, pronounces his words and stuff. Or sometimes, like, I have the whole script for the Half an A-Press video, so sometimes I'll take one of his lines and just edit it just a little bit. So, when I actually release this video, I have a script and everything for it, so. This looks... this is pretty cool. I wonder if I can just jump off the edges. Uh, probably that's a good time jump I could. The cows are just floating. No, oh, 0.5, this is pretty neat. Yeah, Panin's voice is just soothing almost. The one thing I found about YouTube is even if you if you put a lot of time and effort into a video, you shouldn't expect it to do better than a video you haven't put much time and effort into. Like for instance, probably the most effort I put into a video in a long time would be uh my Super Mario 64 ROM hacking progression video. I probably put over 20 hours in that video and I don't even think it's cracked a thousand views right now. But videos I'll put like an hour or two hours into will get like over 10,000 views. So, time put in definitely doesn't equal views in YouTube. Oh, come on. Well, I'm not going to win this race, but I should still be able to get the gold cup. 
Oh, thank you, dude. Yeah, that one took me a long time to make that uh, ROM hacking progression video. But I watch a lot of Summoning Salt, if you guys know about his channel. He does uh, speedrunning progression videos. They're pretty cool. Yeah, well, 0 0.5 has been pretty cool so far. Oh, another thing I guess I'll show you guys. Well, is my Nintendo 64 table right there. I might do a video on it, but I finally have it. I finally have my basement set up so it can be in the stream. Oh, can I make the jump? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot easier. DK rap on everyone's Cranky Kong. Okay. The thing about Cranky Kong is if you guys have seen the DK rap on everybody's funky with funky colors, well, Cranky's that weird funky color too. And it just doesn't look right when Cranky is that color. I mean, I guess I still. I could still post it. Right now, I'm trying to find a way to fix it from being off color. Thanks, dude. Easiest shortcut ever now. <laughs> Can make it every time. No, but the next DK rap video might be Trough and Scoff. Or it might be... I already have one where he's a golden banana, but it's like a different type of banana. Yeah, the K. Roll one is the most popular by far. That's a pretty cool course in 0 0.5. Alright, on to the next one. This one should be pretty similar. <laughs> Super Mario Kart scaled. Right now, a project that I kind of want to do, I have no idea if this is going to work or not, is, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you guys know about Super Mario 64 Chaos Edition. It's pretty much Super Mario 64, but random game shark codes are constantly implemented, and it makes the game chaos. So I was thinking of making, like, Mario Kart 64 Chaos Edition, where every, like, 20 seconds the game gets scaled by a different amount. I'm going to have to learn more about hacking to do that though, but it's a project I'm thinking about doing. So it'd be pretty fun playing Mario Kart 64 and like every 20 seconds it goes to some random scale. Yeah. One thing is... I... Hopefully I have the knowledge to do it, like it'd be pretty hard because I need to custom code it into the game. I was thinking of uh, becoming part of Kaze's Patreon, because I really like Kaze's content, he's probably one of my favorite YouTubers. And when you pledge to Kaze, he'll help you out on projects and stuff, so if I pledge to Kaze, like give him like 20 bucks or something and ask for some help with this project, and I... Because I think Mario Kart 64 Chaos Edition would be such a cool thing. Yeah. 
Oh, there is a Sunshine Chaos Edition? I didn't even know that. Yeah, K's is, or K's or Kaze, I guess his name's Kaze, I need to start calling that. He honestly inspired me to start making YouTube videos with his hacks. Of course, it's pretty cool. Like, pretty similar, but... Yeah, sure, Link. Uh, actually, yeah, Link a video to um, uh, Sunshine Chaos Edition. Is that what you're talking about, Arsa? That's pretty cool. You see, end credits, this is scaled by 0 0.52. Wonder if this will be any different. I thought the, uh, this scene would be different, but it's pretty similar. Alright, one cup down. Three more to go. Let's try out the flower cup here. I'm hoping all these cups will work, but there might be a course or something that won't load. Oh, another video I was thinking about making is I play a bit of guitar, so I was thinking of making like the DK rap, but it's an acoustic guitar cover. Mario. I see you can probably just jump over the rails now, yeah. Oh, Hobo Bros is good. Oh, I gotta be extra careful so I don't just drive off. I need to catch up. Hey, how's it going, Nintendo TV64? This course is pretty cool, scaled to 0 0.5 though. I like this one. I'll probably have to redo it because I doubt I'm going to place in the top four. Unless some miracle happens. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to redo this. I'll just quit now and save some time. So when I'm done streaming 0 0.5, do you guys want me to try doing a different scale? Or do you want me to switch to a different game? What would you guys like to see after this? Try times. 6.9 Oh, come 
come on. Well, this is pretty awesome that you can scale it by any amount. I'm thinking about going back and streaming uh, Super Mario 64 The Green Stars. It's pretty much, it takes original 12 courses and puts in just green stars throughout them, just like in Super Mario Galaxy 2 when he beat the game. I might do that too, I'm not sure yet. so bad when it comes to like looking at chat and playing a game at the same time. I need to get better at that. But I guess this is I think my fifth or sixth live stream, so it's just something that comes with practice. And honestly, once I edit this video, everyone will understand how this code actually works because it took me a while to figure out how it is. It's actually really complicated. And it's like, the diagrams I made, it's very hard to explain. Like, my brother has a computer science major, so I actually talked to him for him to explain to me, like, how a hexadecimal floating point actually works, so... When the video, Super Mario Kart 64 0.5 comes out, I'll have all the diagrams and I'll explain it like Pan and Colic would, and then everyone will really like understand the code. Second. Nice. That's not bad. That'd be pretty cool, dude. It probably wouldn't be too hard either. should be good. I might have trouble with that jump, but oh, probably not. I think I could do this flat, so. This is a good one. Well, that's a pretty cool idea, dude. It'd be like you start off in TikTok Clock, but it'd be like an easier version of TikTok Clock, and you'd end in Bomb Bomb's Battlefield, but it would be the toughest course. Yeah, that's true, Pro Gamer Nyko. What's your favorite uh, game for hacks? Hey, how's it going, Kevin? Are the computers stuck right there? Or no, they're not. Okay, they came. Maybe it's the rubber banding. I don't know. It seemed like they were stuck there, though. Now I lost my lead. Yeah, RPG hacks are pretty good. I haven't done anything on this channel about RPG hacks, but uh, I'm really into Pokemon RPG hacks. 
Like, I played Pokemon Kaizo Blue and Kaizo Crystal and Kaizo Emerald, and those are all really fun. So, I don't know, I like being challenged with the Pokemon game. Most of the games are just too easy nowadays, unless you do like a self-imposed challenge. Yeah, the rubber band must make him stop at uh, that jump there. Quest 64. I actually got Quest 64 probably, must be eight years ago, and I played it a little bit, but I just couldn't get into it. But the 64 didn't really have any good RPGs except, like, Paper Mario, which is pretty fun. Imagine if the 64 actually got, like, Final Fantasy, how different the console would be. Because I think the only reason it didn't get Final Fantasy is because it used cartridges. And Final Fantasy was just such a big game that couldn't be fit on a cartridge. I think that's the reason why. One thing I think would be cool would be, uh... Are you guys aware of the Desert Bus Mario Kart Wii hack? It's like a six hour, uh... Mario Kart Wii course. It's most notorious because Nathaniel Bandy streamed it, but uh, it'd be cool if something like that existed for Mario Kart 64, but there really is, I think there's two or three custom Mario Kart 64 courses out, and it's just plain geometry, so that'll be for the future days. Okay, I'm just going to read chat really quick. Hacking Smash 64 is actually pretty easy. I have a hour-long tutorial on my channel, and if you follow that tutorial, it shouldn't be too difficult. And even if you do, like, run into some troubles, you can always message me on Discord, and I can help you out. Last laugh, it's crunch time, I need to play better. If I can even get to. Uh... Oh, come on, Donkey Kong! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, I'll have to try that again. Honestly, I just play Mario in every game, so I'll never forget who my character is. Like, if I play Mario Kart or Mario Party, it's just if you pick Mario every time, you're never gonna forget who your character is, so that's my logic for picking him. Like, I don't even think that DK had a star or anything, he just came in hot and just messed up my entire day. Alright, there we go. Double. How's it going, some Finnish guy? Glad to have you in the stream. Do you guys have uh, 
any ideas for Super Smash Bros. courses I could make? Because right now I want to make another course. I'm thinking of doing maybe Lost Woods from Ocarina of Time or like, uh, what's it called? The Temple of Time? Thinking about doing one of those two stages, but do you guys have any ideas for a stage? I'm doing good. How are you doing, Kevin? This course on negative one was pretty cool when it was like backwards. In uh, 0 0.5, it's pretty similar. I mean, the jumps just aren't quite as steep. Alright, cool, got first. Coco Mountain in Smash 64. <laughs> Above head stage. I actually really like that idea. You could just have like the gourmet race in the background, so it's like one two oatmeal. Pac Man, that's a good idea too, Jonathan. Oh, oh yeah, no problem, Neko. Mario Raceway. One of the most iconic stages. This one is pretty similar. You almost just get used to playing in 0 0.5. Donkey Kong's Treehouse. I, I really like that. And uh, There's actually a Donkey Kong 64 viewer out right now, so you can get any models for Donkey Kong 64 like really easy. So any Donkey Kong 64 levels are like a lot easier to make. Delfino Plaza. I already kinda did a Delfino Plaza stage. It's the Delfino Plaza from Brawl. Well yeah, it would be cool if it was uh like legit a place in Delfino Plaza. One stage I was trying to make for a while was like the Great Mighty Pooh from Conker's Bad Fur Day, but for some reason every time I try to get that model it just wouldn't export properly, so. I tried, yeah, the Great Mighty Pooh didn't work out and uh, I've tried to do on it a couple times too, but on it was just too big and mealy or brawl, so on it would be another really cool one. <laughs> A link to the Delfino Plaza video, Arsa? Is that what you're talking about? Maple Treeway. All I remember about Maple Treeway was the music. That music was so good. Yeah, sure, you can link to Delfino. Arsa, thanks. Here, I'm gonna make you a moderator, Arsa, because I don't know, you've seen every uh, stream, and I'm pretty sure you'd probably be a pretty good moderator. And I only have one so far, so. Great Deku Tree. That's a good idea. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce your name, so I'm just gonna call you Jay. And oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Jay. 
Yeah, well, for 0 0.5... Oh, hey, Alex Auto. What's up? Oh, we're doing pretty good. Um, I usually do time trials, but for 0 0.5, I knew it would probably work for most courses, so I thought I could probably do a Grand Prix instead. Make it a bit more exciting. Right next up is Star Cup. Have I played Mickey Speedway? Um, a little bit. The hacking scene in Mickey Speedway actually is getting pretty good, so you can make custom courses. Oh, I'm sure you'll be a great moderator, Arsa. And usually, like, this chat's usually pretty calm anyways. <laughs> this course is pretty cool so far. Just seems like a little bit more tamed down version, I guess. Honestly, someone's working on that right now, Nintendo TV 64. Like, legit. Uh, I'm in this Discord, which has to do with Mickey Speedway hacking, and yeah, the one course that they're importing happens to be Wario Stadium, so... That might be coming out sometime this month. Hop over the wall. Alright, I'll give that a try next lap. Oh yeah, um, I just heard about that. There's a channel, I totally forget the name of it, but uh, they had a video all about the transfer pack and all its uses. Um, if you guys know the name of the channel, just tell me. They had a video about the transfer pack, the expansion pack, and I just remember them talking about how Kiwi was uh, only available with the transfer pack if you had Mickey Speedway for the Game Boy, I think. Okay, there we go, there's the skip. Yeah, Stop Skeletons. Yeah, that's the YouTuber. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, I just barely made that big jump. <laughs> just wasn't used to it being at point five. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Oh, right, there we go. That jump was a little bit more smooth. Mario Kart games that I've played, pretty much every one, except I haven't played much Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo. Oh wow. <laughs> I wasn't trying to do that. Another thing, if any of you guys are interested, I got a Discord channel, link will be in the description of this video. I'm pretty active on it, and if you guys want to join that, feel free. Well, actually, I've never played Super Circuit, so... I always forget that one even exists. And I guess I've never played that, like, what's it called? Mario Kart with Pac-Man in it that was made by Namco Bandai. That is, I think, an arcade machine. I obviously haven't played that one either. Oh, dude, I thought you were unmeltable.
I guess I could probably play the Mario Kart GP with emulators now. Alright, Sherbert Land. The only thing I really know about the Mario Kart arcade game is I saw a Nathaniel Bandy video on it, and he covered it pretty well. But other than that, I don't really know much about it. Oh, there we go. I thought this tunnel would be a lot uh, lower in 0.5, but it looks... Wait, wait, what's Luigi doing? Is he, like, disappearing? What? What's happening? Uh, oh, I guess they're okay now. I feel like the rubber... Wait, what? That is so weird. Maybe it has to do with the rubber band mechanics in 0 0.5? I don't know. Well, that penguin is invisible. Yeah, one thing I would really want to try is uh, Mario Kart in VR. Like, that looks really cool. I saw a video uh, by Nathaniel Bandy about that, and yeah, that was really neat. But I haven't done much in VR. I played, uh, like, Super Hot at a friend's house once, but other than that, I haven't done much in VR. Oh, Penguin, come on, bud. Why do you gotta be invisible? No, I agree, Jay. That was a cool feature when you can go first person in, like, Mario Kart 7. to redo this race because I'm not gonna come in fourth yeah all right after we do it Yeah, that'd be cool if there was a first-person mode in Mario Kart 64, but... I bet you, you could definitely make a hack to make that happen. Just change the camera to just really close. Yeah, you're probably thinking of this, but... There's really not much camera control in this game. You can just move it out just a little bit. Oh, come on. <laughs> they put those out at the exact same time. That is not fair. Oh, yeah, race the player sprite. That's a good idea, too. I didn't even think about that. Another thing I'm working on right now is I really want to try to be able to replace models in Donkey Kong 64. Because I think it'd be cool to do like, I don't know, the DK rap, whatever you want is like uh, Banjo Kazooie, for instance, or like a meme like Donald Trump. But that's another thing I'm kind of working on right now. I've been looking into Donkey Kong 64's code and some programs and trying to get that done. Okay, why is this so hard? to like come in even fourth place I gotta really get my game on here like the rubber band is so weird I didn't think that uh, scaling would 
make it that different, but... play this course again. <laughs> young boy. I haven't played first person Mario before. It looks cool though, like I've seen the videos of it. But yeah, that is true. It's kind of funny how uh, they almost totally abandoned the whole 3D gimmick of the 3DS when they released the 2DS. Alright, Royal Raceway. This one is one where I'm not 100% sure if it will be possible, but I think I should be able to make that gap. Have you guys ever played the game Rush 2 for Nintendo 64? It has this really cool stunt mode. I don't mean my friends used to play it all the time. favorite course in Mario Kart 64. Uh, I'd say maybe Wario Stadium. A fun fact about Wario Stadium is that it's the only course that hasn't been remade in another Mario Kart before. Every other Mario Kart course has been remade in either like in one of the newer ones. expecting that. Rush 2049 is pretty fun too. I've played that one also. But I started playing Rush 2049 once I got my EverDrive and had every single 64 game. But I never actually owned the cartridge. Because I think on the 64 it's just Rush 2 and then Rush... No, it's Rush San Francisco, Rush 2, and then Rush 2049, I think. I could imagine the Dreamcast version being so much better. The Dreamcast was so powerful for its time. Yeah, that must be the reason, Jay. 
But I don't know, Rush 2 was honestly so much fun playing it in stunt mode. That's pretty cool. Kevin Squidgy. I find those regional different stuff pretty cool. Like, I look at most of the, uh, what's it called? There's this website called The Cutting Room Floor. And it pretty much just looks at all the stuff cut out from video games and what the regional differences are. That's actually the whole reason how I found this code for scaling in the first place is because the cutting room floor documented it. Oh nice, that's pretty cool. Triforce table light. Oh, that Nintendo 64 table behind me is like one of my prized possessions. Oh, come on. Yeah, I do agree, Jay. Like, oh. Royal Raceway is a pretty good name. Oh, wait, hopefully. This has to be possible, the computers are doing it, so... Yeah, I just need to do a well-timed jump. Oh. The way I'm playing, I got a little bit of lag, so I gotta jump early. quick time event jump. <laughs> oh wow, did he lap me already? Come on. Yeah, they're just teleporting. This one's gonna be tough to win. Definitely gonna have to retry this one. Can't believe how messed up the AI is when you scale the track. Hey, how's it going, anime game fails? Sorry, I'm just going to pause read chat because I haven't looked at it in a bit. Yeah, CPUs must respond faster. Oh, I've probably been lapped so many times now. Is there a retry race option? No, just quit and continue. I got 7th. Hey, how's it going, Retro Mario Lover? Mario Kart 64 is better than Fortnite? Hey, how's it going, Josh Troll? Oh, I didn't know that, Kevin. That's pretty cool. Hey, how's it going, Kenny?
Yeah, the losing the losing music is like pretty fancy. Alright, I gotta really pay attention to the game and place. I don't wanna restart this race again. Oh no. Okay, well I'm not that behind. I can catch up this lap for sure. Especially with the rubber banding. Fourth place. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. Alright, the last lap. I just gotta clutch everything up and I should be okay. Missed the item. It's not good. Oh, Mario. Wow, missed the item again. <laughs> yeah, L's for music volume. Alright, well that did not work as planned at all. I was hoping that'd be a clutch yeah. lap and that was far from it. Alright. This is gonna be it, I'm gonna get it this time. I'll retry it. Alright, so get the item this time, no one I missed it. This course is pretty cool in 0 0.5 though, like I thought it would look a lot more different, but it is pretty similar. It is definitely harder. Just the AI in general behaves so much different, like. First lap was good, I just gotta keep that up. in seven already. This course has no remorse. Yeah, All right, well, fourth. Not bad.
Alright, cool. Third place. Thank god I did that, of course. Oh, what do you mean by that, pro great pro gamer? How's it going, Stampy Gaming? Yeah, I always yeah, Jay, I always forget about breaking after I hit a banana pill, but yeah, because then I think like the music note comes on top of his head. for the last cup. Wait. That uh, pedestal looks right now. The first one didn't. Gamer, if you want to get those courses, download the uh, ROM Hack 19XXTE. It'll have those. Right now, last Grand Prix. Right, special cup. Let's do this. Uh. That's not good. Definitely a soft lock. Oh, thank you, no. Um. Back into. Just let me go. Uh. Alright, well. That sucks when it reset. Uh, the credit cuts, the credit cutscene gets affected a little bit, but not that much. Yeah, pro gamer, just look up 19xxte, and then it should pop up. Uh, I'm gonna see if the time trial DK's Jungle Parkway works. It'll probably be the same thing, but it's worth trying. Oh, it looks like this works fine. It's just... It must just be the position you're put at. I don't know, but... So I guess for the special cup, I'll just do the time trials. Okay, and this jump, this is one thing that I was most concerned about. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess I gotta make it to try it. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Oh, so close. Okay, I'm gonna try using a mushroom right now and jumping at the end. I wonder if that's enough where he'll put me on the other side. Oh no. I don't think the mushroom helps. I think uh, this one probably just isn't possible. Thanks, Fox. Like, I definitely agree, especially with it being on console. I think that makes a big difference. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try something. 
I'm gonna try landing on that island there. Yeah, I'll retry. Um... I'm gonna do a braid in 55 set really quick, because he said try drifting. And I could maybe see that work somehow, I don't know. It's worth trying. Actually, I'm gonna... Driver change. If I switch to Bowser, he has a higher top speed. So with this higher top speed, he might get a little bit farther, so... I'm gonna try Bowser and see if that works. Because I have a feeling that that, I don't know, might make a difference. All right, hopefully Bowser can make this. Okay, Bowser definitely goes farther, so we'll try this. Uh, uh, maybe? Come on. No, that jump definitely screwed that up. Okay. Yeah, I think Toad's slower. He just has better acceleration. I'm pretty sure Bowser is going farther than Mario did. Okay, so... Use the mushroom and jump. Oh yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. I'm gonna... Probably just do the course backwards. There's one thing I want to try. There's a skip you can do at the start of the race. I haven't done this in years. I'll try it like once or twice. Ah, uh, try blasting the shoot before you blast off. Okay, I like that theory of the trial show. I'm gonna try that. Okay, so blasting the shoe right before blast off. I don't think you can use the shroom then. Alright, I used it right then and there. Yeah. I don't think this is gonna work. I'm gonna try Toad really quick just because I can. Alright, Toad. You can do this, bud. Like, I have a feeling. Um, have you ever thought about modding PS1? Honestly, I've never owned a PlayStation 1. I definitely respect the console. Like, I played some CTR as a kid and a lot of Crash Bandicoot, but, uh, I just don't really have any interest in do of doing that right now. Oh yeah, Toad. <laughs> that was a pretty bad jump by Toad. <laughs> Wait, is that it? Oh, I think Toad does go farther. I don't know. Right, Toad. I'll try this a couple more times, and then I'll just do it in reverse. Yeah. Like, he's picking him up right there. No, it still doesn't work. Ah. Can I go right here? Mushroom. Jump. Is that it? No.
Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it can be done. Oh, this is something I really wish that it could. And I really don't want to give up, but... No, you can't land on the boat. Alright, whose idea was this? Um... Alright, I'll try one more time. <laughs> Ask the bus driver to get us across. Alright, I'll retry. i just look at the course backwards. Oh, I wish that was possible, but oh well. If you jump, oh, there's no way I'll be able to do this. I'll just go backwards. There's a shortcut you can do if you can jump in that collision. Just I don't want to spend like half an hour trying to do that shortcut. So yes, in 0.5 you can drive through there. Oh, it's so close too. Like he was so close to making that gap. But 0 0.5 on this course, it was pretty cool. And there it is, looking at it from the other side. wonder, it should take us there if I jump in here. Um, 0 0.5 just makes it so everything on the y-axis is scaled by 0 0.5, so it's like, not as big. I'll try the next course here. Right, Yoshi Valley. This one's gonna be really cool. Trees are in the air. That's always cool. It's pretty normal so far. I'm not really used to playing as Toad, though, with the acceleration. Yeah, Yoshi's Valley, yeah, it's pretty similar. Oh, <laughs> all the rails don't work now. I think the egg's normal. I could be wrong, though. I'll take a better look next time. Alright, second lap. Oh, the Nintendo 64. Oh, just looking at chat. Yeah, that is a Nintendo 64 table behind me. Um, actually, one of my buddies made it for me. Probably one of the best gifts I ever got. This race is pretty cool. I like this one. Honestly, I thought 0.5 would make a little bit more of a difference, but you know, honestly, all the courses do look pretty similar. Yeah, that, that ache is definitely just normal. Oh, this music is so catchy. Right. Yoshi's Valley, definitely possible.
Here, I'll move out of the way so you can see the table. Oh. Alright, so... Next up, I'm gonna change back to Mario. And we'll go Banshee Boardwalk. Now this course probably won't change that much. Maybe when we get to that uh, part that isn't on the dock, it'll be different. Is that sign slower? I wonder if I can see what's in this chest now, or often, or whatever it is. It seems like the bats aren't here. Hey, Lampark. Yeah, the newer version of Yoshi's Valley is pretty cool. Oh, come on. I did not mean to do that. It's like, look at chat for a second, fall off every time. So what should I do when I'm done with this? Should I do custom smash courses? Should I do Mario Kart scale to a different value? Should I do Donkey Kong maybe playing as like the Nintendo 64 logo? What what do you guys want? Put a rocket boost off of that could do. Because yeah, it's pretty much just Banshee Boardwalk but the rails don't work. <laughs> Smash courses? Banjo Kazooie. I could do Banjo Kazooie in Mario 64. Oh, yeah, Straw Pole. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, this track scaling is done with the Game Shark code. But, uh, okay, so this video I'm doing, or this stream right now, Mario Kart 0.5, it's going to be part of a video, like, can Mario Kart 64 be scaled by 0.5? And it's going to be a parody of Pan and Cold video, his half an A press video. And in that video, I'll explain to you how this Game Shark code works and everything about it. It's actually pretty complicated, so I made a bunch of diagrams and stuff to better explain it. Alright, fancy boardwalk definitely possible. <laughs> this deep game in a cart. Right, last course. Right, Rainbow Road. I'm gonna try the shortcut. I think I did that way too early. I'll try the shortcut every time, maybe I'll get it. But, I wonder, do the rails work? Oh yeah, the rails still uh, kinda work. Really? Rainbow Road is two kilometers long? They'll scale to 0.5, it's just the guardrails are a little bit less big. Oh, wow, okay. Can't rely on the guardrails anymore. Yeah, the fact that video game manuals kind of died out is kind of sad. I still have most of my 64 manuals, and I'll still look through them every now and then. Come on, Kea. I'm just not used to falling off Rainbow Road like this. 
I guess in every other Rainbow Road, it's like this, so... Yeah, yeah, this is kind of the same thing, though, in 0 0.5. I think I'm just gonna do one lap of this one, because every lap takes so long. Like, I like how when they remade Rainbow Road in Mario Kart 8, they made it so it's just a one-lap thing. Then after this, we'll move on to the battle courses after one lap of this. I guess the finish line's like way up there too. Alright, let's check out the battle courses here. Wait one sec, I'll be right back. Let's be a minute, I'll go to the bathroom. Alright, I'm back. Okay, so let's check out the battle courses here. Okay. <laughs> Mario saying okay for 10 hours. <laughs> Mario is needy. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, I guess battle. Alright, let's check out these maps. Right, big donut. Well, big donut is. Pretty much the same. It's not scaled as much, I guess. Alright. Uh, uh, let's try course change. Pretty cool. Let's go at 0 0.5. Ports just seem so tiny now. That's pretty cool.
Alright, course change. Alright, double decker. I guess it'll be the same except the ramps won't be as big. Much smaller gap jumping down. Wait, what was that? Did you guys see that? When he jumped, he like... What? I've never seen Mario do that before. He like... Why is that happening? Wait, it didn't happen that time. Alright, well, kind of cool, or if I can just jump off. Oh, Mario Kart mode with Tony Hawk figure physics. How's it going solo? Alright, let's try last course here, Skyscraper. Skyscraper is pretty similar. Wonder if I can make this jump easy. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna take Arsa's advice and make a straw pull here. Maybe. I don't know how easy making a straw pull is, but I'm gonna try it. And I'm just going to put a couple options about what I should stream next, and we'll figure it out. I think making straw polls are really easy, but... Okay, type your question. It'll be, what should I stream next? Answer poll. Answer one will be, more Mario Kart scaled. Um, okay, answer two will be DK64, but with N64 logo. Option three will be Smash Stages. Option four will be Super Mario 64 Green Stars. And option five will be, I think that's it, Mario Kart Scale, DK Smash, oh, Banjo Kazooie in Mario 64. Alright, here's the straw poll right here. Vote. I'll give you guys like one minute, then I'll just do the one that has the most votes. I put allow multiple answers, so if you want to see, like, let's say you want to say CDK and Smash, you can vote for both those. So yeah, check out Boat in the Straw Pole. I'll wait for a minute. Here's while I'm waiting, I'll drift around. <laughs> Alright, I'll check it right away. Okay, 30 seconds, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, uh, I'm not going to count down, I'll just count down in my head. Alright, I'm going to check out the poll now, see what happened, see what you guys did. Alright, and it looks like the winner is 
Banjo. Ah. Uh. All right, I know Banjo Kazooie technically won, but I didn't vote, and I kind of want to play some Smash stages right now. So I'm gonna go Smash stages because it got three votes. So we're gonna do some Smash stages. I'll definitely stream my Banjo Kazooie hack in a later day. Okay, so, first stage. Is. Um, so it'll be under. Smash levels. It's a good one. You know what? Just because it's fitting, let's do some. Wait, where is it? What's it called? Just, yeah, let's do some skyscraper just because we just got out of skyscraper. Free for all! Okay. One sec. I definitely have legs, so I'm gonna have to put this on my other monitor. Just move some things around really quick. Okay, then I'll do that. Um. How do you get an EverDrive? You just order it online. Alright. Oh, one sec, I gotta mute my TV. Okay, there we go. It's almost set up. Alright. So... I've been playing a lot of Smash Ultimate lately, so I'm definitely a little bit rusty when it comes to Smash 64. I'll just do two stock, just so we can do as much horse as possible. Alright, so we're gonna go from Skyscraper and Mario Kart 64, do some Skyscraper and Smash 64. Three, two, the capture card I used was only at, I wanna say, $40, so like, it wasn't bad. Oh, this remix is pretty cool too, that this guy made. so long since I played Smash 64. If anybody joins, I'll just say when you scale Mario Kart 64 to 0.5, it becomes Smash Brothers. Oh, mess. Fell in the hole. course is really cool. Oh, I forget the guy's name that made it. I think it's Far Cry 15. He made three stages. He made this one, he made Block Fort and Smash, and he made, I think, Peach's Castle, but uh, he's very talented. It's a cool course. Alright. It's a fun one. Because every course is put over Hyrule because it's the only course that can be replaced right now. So next one, let's go for some good old Shrek. This is one of the courses that I've made. This one took me a while because I replaced everything almost. Well, not everything, but like when you start, you have like Super Shrek Bros up here. Got Shrek in versus mode. 
Got him in the background over there, just chilling. Free for all. And, uh... You have him in the background of the characters. Uh, Super Shrek Bros. Are you guys ready for the... <laughs> oh, I haven't played this one in a while. Got the Shrek MIDI in there. Now this was a really fun course to make. And if you look at the bottom, like, where the stock meter is, I made all of everybody's light green. And if someone goes off the stage, you'll see that it'll be light green too, instead of their color. Yeah, I did the Made by Snooplax because I was honestly getting like kind of pissed off with people like Cholo Droid almost like acting like they made ROM hacks. Like, I made a whole video about that. Thanks a different. This course was really fun to make. The one thing, it was pretty hard doing like the clippings for this course. The clippings is uh, pretty much the collision. Because Smash doesn't use the collision from the model, you have to make the collision yourself. Like, this Shrek course, just because I replaced so much, probably took me about six hours to make. Do you guys have any uh, stage recommendations for the next one I play? Alright, what should the next course be? Um, what about... Um... Um, I think I got the Shrek model from the Xbox Shrek game, if I'm not mistaken. Why don't we go Falcon's Realm? This one's kind of a cool course. This one is made by ComJ. ComJ is actually, uh, he has a bunch of courses that he hasn't released yet, which is going to be really cool when he finally puts them out. Okay, we'll go. I'll, I'll play Yoshi this time. Yoshi used to be my, my main, but then I switched to Kirby. Yeah, this is a pretty cool custom course though. Just got playing on Falcon's hands. I don't know where the music is from though, to be honest. Probably from an F-Zero game, but I could be wrong.
Oh yeah, if he was doing the Falcon Punch, that'd be cool. All the courses are on Hyrule because it's the only course that can be replaced right now. Any other course that gets replaced will either one be gl like glitchy or two just won't work. Sec here. I'm gonna. Um. Okay, what course should I play next? What about. I have more courses in here. Okay, I'll just go back to my Smash Levels folder. Oh, Green Hill Zone. This is a really cool one. This one is by ComJ2. I'll go Ness this time, change it up. Right, two stock. Right. Even just that thumbnail is so cool, and just seeing Sonic silhouette there, ComJ did such a good job with this course. And the music is just perfect. You got this. Yeah, it's just like the ball course. It's pretty cool. Oh, I know ComJ plans on putting in uh, Final Destination from Neely, so that'll be a really cool course when he releases that one. Hyrule Castle, I could be wrong saying this, but I think it's the only horse that was like reverse engineered to be replaced right now. Oh. Alright, Yoshi versus Kirby. The blast ones are pretty small in that one too, so it's easy to get KO'd. Let's go Mario Odyssey. This is a course that I made. Free for all. I'll go. I'll try Ness again. Yeah. Melee Final Destination in Smash 64 would be so cool. Alright, so let's do the Odyssey. No, I made this stage, but the Odyssey model that you're seeing right now, this was made by a guy named Jonga. But Jonga is honestly a really nice guy. I just actually got in contact with him. I've been talking to him a lot. This course, so how it turned out, like with the music and everything.
Oh no. Hey, what's up, Sebastian? Don't do this to me. All right, cool. Uh... Oh, but Super Mario Odyssey. It's definitely probably one of my favorite games of all time. I had so much fun playing that game. It was like playing Super Mario 64 all over again. Okay, let's try another course here. Let's go. Let's go Mario Head, I like this one. This one's by Planny. Planny, Planny has made some really cool courses. He's the guy that was behind the Banjo-Kazooie courses, that three pack. And he made a pipe level, which is really cool. Um, alright, let's try this out. Go with... Yeah, I'll go with Kirby. Well, this course, it's really small, though. That's the one thing. But it looks really cool. Oh, uh... Honestly, I s didn't click on it, though, but he imported... What was it? Uh, it was a full Super Mario Sunshine level. I'll have to check that out later today. Like, it looks really good. I can't believe how many projects Kaze is working on right now. Here, I can play the PewDiePie stage next if you want. <laughs> that one's like a... Definitely like a meme stage. I just like how uh, Mario's model ended up looking on this. Yeah, I agree, Arsa. It's a good idea to do. I know what uh, this modder Planny, he started adding his name to the thing too. So you can see Planny. Same with the author 64, he makes a lot of smash hacks and he adds his logo in like I do. Game set. Oh, that would be so cool if Mario's eyes could move. Okay, next course by Request, request from Raiden. We're gonna do some uh, PewDiePie versus T series course. Oh, a giant T posing K rule. That's that's a pretty good idea, Fox. I like that. So I'll go. Let's 
this is it. <laughs> I made this stage in the height of the whole uh, meme phase of this. I like how the MIDI turned out a lot, though, to be honest. Oh no, come on, mess. Yeah, I made those melee portraits a while ago. Pretty much any hack I make, I'll put the melee portraits in. Thank you for uh, modding here, Arsa. You're making this like a lot easier on me. Alright, that's it. Uh, T-Pose and K-Roll with the DK rap music would be a pretty cool stage. Right, next stage. Um... I'm gonna go with... Oh, let's go Muda. This is a really cool one. This one's by Planny, too. Free for all. I'm gonna take these headphones off for a couple minutes. Yeah, yeah let's try this. Alright, Muda. This is from Super Mario Land. Oh, why did I choose to take my headphones off now? This is like the best soundtrack. I gotta put them back on. Hey, how's it going, Pablo? Just the music makes this course. Here, we'll do uh, Pablo's course next, if he's in chat. Pablo made a Wild Canyon course from Sonic... I think it's Sonic Adventure 2, I could be wrong, but... It's definitely from one of the Sonic games. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of a gaming historian, but he did a really good documentary video on Super Mario Land. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Okay, took him with me. <laughs> Yeah, a stage on like an actual 64 would be really cool. I've thought about doing a course on like the Nintendo 64 logo. I 
Yeah, a gaming historian is, is pretty good. Whenever he releases a video, I actually get like excited. Because he puts so much work into his videos too. So much editing and so much research goes into him. Aw. Oh, just at the blast zone. Yeah, that's a really good idea, Zachary. So I made a course where you fight on a GameCube, but like fighting on a 64 would be so cool. Yeah, do it, Pablo. That would be awesome. Pablo's gonna be the MVP and make the course. The only Nintendo 64 model I can think of right now is the one that's in Banjo Tooie. But other than that, it's the only one I can think of. No, the backgrounds can't be GIFs, it's just a still image right now. That's a really good idea, Nintendo TV 64. Yeah, just on that Mario head. Yeah, and Conquer's Bad Fur Day, that sounds right too. Right, Wild Canyon by Pablo. Yeah, Zachary, what a sad day when the Wii Shop channel closes. Alright guys, I think this is going to be my last course here and I'm going to end the stream. I'm just getting kind of tired. Oh, we shop channel stage. That would be so cool. In dedication of the we shop channel. All right, but yeah, last level here, guys. All right, Wild Canyon. Oh, if it's last, I'll make it three star. Rave stage. I actually really like that Crab Rave song. I've been listening to it a lot lately. That was quite a combo. Now, this course is really cool though. I like uh, all the platforms that are on it and even the soundtrack is really cool.
Oh, come on, Luigi. What's your idea, Pablo? I mean, Zachary, you could do a Poke Float so the Pokemon don't move. Oh, I don't know, for stages, Pablo, like, the Channel 64 would be cool. We Shop Channel would be really cool, too. Um... Anything Pokemon is cool, because Pokemon hasn't had that much love. Alright. Well, guys, thank you.